What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you how to solve this trigonometric equation. And it's saying that 2 cosine squared theta minus 3 cosine theta plus 1 equals to 0. The theta must be between 0 and 2 pi. First thing I need to do, since we are dealing with the quadratic equation, I need to solve this quadratic equation first. And the easiest method for this kind of equation is to use factoring method. Then I will use AC method, which means that I need to multiply 2 and 1. It's going to be 2. And here the coefficient here is negative 3. It means that we are two, looking for two numbers, multiply to 2 and add to negative 3. So obviously these two numbers are going to be negative 2 and negative 1. When you add it, it's negative 3 and when you multiply this positive 2. So that will be 2 cosine squared theta minus 2 cosine theta minus cosine theta plus 1 equals to 0. Then I need to factor by grouping here. The first one is going to be 2 cosine theta. That will be the GCF, 2 cosine theta, divided by cosine squared divided by 2 cosine theta is going to be 2 cosine theta. And here divided by 2 cosine theta will be negative 1. And here I need to factor negative 1 to make it like that. So negative cosine divided by negative 1 is going to be positive cosine. And positive 1 divided by negative 1 is going to be negative 1 equals to 0. Then I need to factor cosine theta minus 1. And here I will have 2 cosine theta minus 1 equals to 0. Then we have the product of two expressions that equals to zero. It means that one of these equations has to be zero. So we have cosine theta minus one equals to zero or two cosine theta minus one equals to zero. Here we have cosine theta equals to one. And here we have cosine theta equals to one over two. Because we, when we bring negative one to this side, it becomes positive. Divided by two is going to be one half. Cosine theta is 1, so co theta will be 0 and 2 pi. Cosine 0 is 1, cosine 2 pi is 1 as well. What about here? We have cosine theta equals to 1 half. Cosine is positive in quadrant 1 and also quadrant 4. Here we are dealing with theta. Here we are dealing with 2 pi minus theta. So cosine pi over 3 is 1 over 2. And the other answer, when you sub it here, is going to be 2 pi minus pi over 3. When you do the common denominator, it's going to be 6 pi minus pi. That will be 5 pi over 3. So the answers are 0 pi over 3, 0 from here, pi over 3. 5 pi over 3, which we have it here, and also 2 pi. So we have these four different answers to this trigonometric equation. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will leave some more related playlists in this description. You can take a look to the description if you need to have more examples and more practice questions. If you found this video useful, please like it and share it with your friends. Please don't forget to subscribe this channel to have access to many other videos regarding math and science. Thank you for watching and have a great day.